Another gardening tip for balconies or small garden areas that you can't really plant much in. <coughs> Square container, I think from B&M, home bargain, somewhere like that, about £3, £3.99, something like that. All I need to do is, first of all, just some holes in the bottom. We're going to do this. We're going to get two bamboo canes. These are about six foot. Now, the reason why these are going to be so tall is because this, I'm actually going to put a log and bedding into this one, which can grow into two meters high. Now, ideally, you need to put a couple of bricks in the bottom of this. I haven't got any, but it'll be strapped against my fence over there. So, first of all, we need to, on each opposing corner, we need to drill some holes each side. Now it's soft and Now you need some cable ties. So these upright ones, you need some pretty strong cable ties. So I'm just gonna go in, weave it through, and then partially tie it. Same on the bottom, in and weave it through and once again pass it tight and then push them in so you can actually see the loops if the other side push it in and then feed it through once again pass it tight you find out why I'm going to pass time in a, in a minute. So there we go. All you need to do now is to get your two long canes and put them in so that at the bottom and then. Cable tie these in place. Right, so. So if I put on the floor, that's going to be the height of it. Once again, bamboo again. Put it in down to the bottom, as far as it'll go. Cable tie. This device is part of tie them because it makes it a lot easier. So you've got now is your structure. So what we need to do first of all is we need to get some shorter ones. Now let me get some cable tie for these. You can use white cable size if you want to, these are just ones that I have in the shed. Something quicker to get hold of. So two of these. One each side, this side. And this one would be pretty low to be fair, first of all. And then cable tie 
Let me. Like right, so. Alright, I'll drop this down a little bit so you can physically see what I'm doing. What we do now is we need roughly 12 inches to a foot to the next ones. Once again, just need to keep the sign easy in place. Move this up a little bit. That roughly straight. Then cable tight back in place again. And the last one, it isn't big enough, so I'll have to go and get another one. So stay there for a second. Alright, so now I've got two five foot canes. Got this, as you can see, pretty sturdy already. Put on the floor, drop these down. And I do really is repeating the process. Roughly about 12 inches. Like so. Last one at least. Very top one. And the only thing I would suggest is I would get some bamboo protecting caps for the end ends of these, especially if it's in the middle of the garden. You, you or anybody else could walk into them and um, essentially could do a lot of damage to your eye. So just be careful on that one. Right, all I need to do is cut these off. We'll cut these off in a bit. There you have it. That's your construction. Need to know is start putting some soil compost into here. If you have some bricks, I would recommend putting a few bricks at the bottom just to keep the weight down. I don't have any bricks at home. I'm not got anything to lay down. But like I say, I'll be putting this against the fence. I'm just going to put a little bit of compost in and then some perlite mix it up as we go along put it away naturally then we need some more of that Now you don't have to fill this right way up, you just need to fill it up to its first ledge here. All I'm going to do now is get the plant. It's been um, needing to get into this for a week or two, but other things have been getting in the way, like the allotment and etc. Now I'm going to do is and take the little support ones out that they give at the shop. I'm going to place this
I'll place it in front so you can see. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the pot sort of roughly level. Let's do it on this camera. So inside the actual pot here, you can actually see it's level. So I'm gonna do now is keep on filling this up, but leave the pot in. Even mixing the pearl as I go along. Just press down the pot a little bit. Press around the actual soil. Not too much, don't need to compact it down too much. and get this out. You can see the roots have been coming through the bottom. It's not too bad. I'll just tease them out a little bit. Nose, put your plant back in, press it down. Now I'm going to take out the last support that I gave you the shop. And also take this safe off. If you want to, you could try and train this so that it actually climbs up your frame. All I've got from little um, plant rings. It's literally going to put it over and then just clamp it in a little bit just to keep them in place. You don't have to do this, you can use string anything you wanted to, to be honest. But, I'm going to try and train these to grow up the edges. These can grow the middle, so these can actually stay where they are. And this one I think has already started the fruits. Yes it has, it's already sent to fruit here. And at the back here, it's sent to fruit. So all I'll do is I'll try and wrap that around so it comes around the front. Take any dead leaves. As such. And the good thing about this Loganberry that I bought, it's actually thorn free. So it's pretty friendly for your hands. Or if anybody walks past it. Right, so that's the actual plant done. The only thing you need to do now is, on these, have all these cuts. Make sure you cut them off flush. Don't cut them off with scissors or secateurs, because if you leave it at an angle or past, it can cause a nasty cut. You can leave money if you want to see. But it just makes it look a bit neater.
Right, that's what's on the floor. There you go. So perfect for the corner of your garden. As I was saying previously, you need to put something on these because, as you can see, that's on my height. So, bamboo stoppers are going on here. You can buy these pretty cheap from places, a couple of pounds. Well, if you really want to, you put pans, foam, anything you want to on there. These old rotten bamboo gainers. It's just snapped somewhere. Right, let's grab all the the same with any of them. Look at the sun. Right, thanks for watching. Another little tip for little gardens or a balcony even. Right. Especially hit subscribe button, doesn't cost anything. Hit the notification bell. Watch around my channel, watch me grow. And for more little tips that may be able to save money or give you ideas. Right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.